The Crowther Audio Hotcake has as rich a history as pretty much any pedal out there. The first prototype of the hotcake was designed nearly 50 years ago in 1976 by Paul Crowther from New Zealand while he was on tour with the Finn brothers in the UK. I believe he was actually the drummer in that band. Meaning that the kind of the first iteration of the hotcake was arguably the earliest form of an overdrive pedal in a compact form ever, even predating the Boss OD-1 and the Tube Screamer, which is pretty crazy to think about. Since then, it's been used by literally the biggest names in the business, from Crowded House, Mark Knopfler, Radiohead, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Noel Gallagher, Blur, and the Rolling Stones, just to uh, just to name a few small names. So yeah, the hot cake is a pretty big deal. I've never played one, but luckily enough, I've had one just for a small while, just for a few days to check out, and it's it's pretty special and really unique as well. So we're going to dive into that today, explore some quick tones with it, um, and I think you might want to pick one up. Usually pedals like this kind of disappear into the ether and become impossibly hard to get your hands on. But as far as I'm aware, Paul Crowther is still making hotcakes. If as long as you know where to look, you can pick one up for less than 200 pounds. This one, for example, is one of the latest versions with a few extra switches on here, which we'll explore. But uh, let's just dive into it. I don't know too much more about it other than what I've just said. So today we've got my Heritage H535 custom chord going into the hot cake and then going into the Victory V40 Duchess set, kind of clean, kind of edge of breakup. Set like this with the presence and the drive uh, all the way down and the kind of level just above two o'clock. I'm told that you're not really going to hear too much difference in tone between your clean sound and the hot cake. And that's kind of the whole point of the hot cake. <laughs> It's pretty damn close. Cutting a little bit of low ends, which is uh, useful because we've got this extra switch up here, which expands the lower frequencies. So it's incredibly subtle, but I can just about hear it. Let's start bringing up the drive. So with the drive at about halfway, it's thick, but not too saturated. And again, I, I come back to this term quite a lot at the moment, but it has this texture to it that is really unique. And that's something I'm looking for across all my drive pedals, not necessarily different EQ profiles, depending on the overdrive, but more different textures and different ways it breaks up. And I really like the texture of the hotcake. So we're gonna start winding up the presence control, which I'm told is kind of like a mids control. <laughs> Yeah, I can really start to hear the mids there. Thank 
presence control is so cool. There's not a bad spot on it. It sounds great all the way down or all the way up, and it still remains balanced throughout. <laughs> So good, so good. Uh, so the other switch we have on here is a cream switch. Uh, I don't really know what this does. I think it kind of smooths things off, changes the breakup ever so slightly. So yeah, sounds more compressed to me. Let's crank up the game. What an excellent, excellent sounding overdrive pedal. And it has this character, like with the gain all the way up, it has this character that is so unique to the hotcake. I certainly haven't heard it in another pedal before. I do sort of like it with the gain at around 12 o'clock or just a little down from there. And it just sounds great with some chords. Like, I just feel like I wanna play Wilco songs all day long, like it sounds great just with some chords. I believe the original hot cake really was designed to work great into AC30s. Personally, I think that's a real selling point for me because AC30s are a hard pedal to get, hard amp to get right with pedals. And if this sounds as good as they say it does with an AC30 or my Victory Copper, for example, then it is an absolute winner. I think that when I stop recording, I'm gonna order one of these. <laughs> This is great, and for less than 200 pounds to get an absolutely classic overdrive pedal, absolute winner. What a great pedal, what a great pedal.